Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining channel. In today's video, we're going to have a quick look at how do I go about buying flux on KuCoin. Now, why am I actually making this video? Surely there's lots of people on various different exchanges buying cryptocurrency, right? So we've seen it over the last couple of years, adoption has been crazy. But what I've recently seen and what I've seen in Discord and actually in the Sleep Money Club Discord, so if you're interested to join, I'll leave a link in the video description, but that's not what this video is about. But if you've watched my um, buying flux on Binance and transferring it to Zelcor, um, I'll leave a link again in the video description and tag it at the top. But there's actually a process and there's actually more than one network that you can use. So I found out that some of the users are unsure, specifically on KuCoin, um, you know, what chain does KuCoin use? Are they going to lose their money as soon as they transfer it? Do they need to swap it into um, Flux Native? What Flux token do you actually get when you transfer it? So there was actually a lot of questions on Discord on it. And I thought to myself, okay, cool. If uh, at least one person doesn't know, there might be more people that don't know, right? So I gave it a test and this is exactly what this video is about, right? So I'm going to go and buy some Flux on KuCoin. And again, I'm a big big fan of Flux, but this is not financial advice. Um, and then I'm going to transfer it over to my wallet in Zelcor where I do all of my node staking. So the more Flux I buy, then hopefully I can stand up another node again. Now that you know what the video is about, let me jump on the computer and buy some Flux and move it to my Zelcor wallet. Okay, so here we are on the computer. Now before I go gung-ho and buy some Flux on KuCoin, there's actually two things that you would need. The first one being a Flux wallet or a wallet where we can transfer the Flux in. And for that, I'm going to use my Zelcor wallet here. Um, obviously, this is the exact same wallet that I'm going to use to ultimately stake and host a node or set up a node. But I'm just going to use this wallet. And for that, I'm going to use my nodes wallet and then my Flux address. So this is obviously what we would need when we transfer from KuCoin back in here. The other thing that you would need is a KuCoin account. So you just obviously need to set up and create an account. So there's not a lot of KYC needed on KuCoin, which is actually quite amazing. I just needed to specify an email address. There's a couple of security things that you need to set up, but ultimately I just supplied a email address and I could open up an account. Okay, so now that we've got an account and I'm logged in into the account, let's go about buying some Flux. Now, the first thing that you would need is you obviously need money or some sort of coin to buy Flux with. Now, there's a couple of trading pairs for Flux. I think there's USDT and then there's Bitcoin. Now, what I did is I did the Bitcoin route. So what I went and did is move some Bitcoin. So you can see here if I select the wallet section here at the top right, and I go to deposit, so, and I go deposit, um, what I went and did is I selected the coin that I wanted to deposit. I don't have any USDT, obviously after all of the Luna drama, I'm staying away from any stable coin, but I just specified BTC, and then there's a couple of network options here. I just use the BTC network. So I just transferred some of my BTC into this address. You would see here the recipient account. So that's the other thing that's important. It would go back to the main account. Now, something just to take note of, it just needs two blocks of confirmation. So you have to wait a little while for your actual Bitcoin to get here. And then that was the case for me. Once the Bitcoin is there, you would find that under your main account. So if I select your main, you would see I don't have any Bitcoin here at the moment, but there would be Bitcoin in this specific main account. Okay, so after a while, I've sent my Bitcoin to that address that I've mentioned here. So what will happen is the Bitcoin will ultimately sit in this main account. And you can see here, this is now where my Bitcoin sits. Now, what you would need to do before you go ahead and buy some Flux, we would need to move that into the trading account. So the trading account is sort of linked to all of the buying that you're going to do. So for that, all that I'm doing here is I'm going to my Bitcoin and I'm going to say transfer that to my trading account. So it's asking how much do I want to transfer. I'm just going to click on the value to transfer the full amount. So you would see Bitcoin would disappear from this little section here. And if I now go to trading, you would see that the Bitcoin is now sitting in this trading account. Awesome. Now that I've got about 100, a little bit below 120 USD 
of Bitcoin in my trading account, let's go ahead and buy some Flux. So all that I'm going to do is within this trading account, I'm going to specify here at the top right what I want to buy. Um, and I'm going to just going to type in Flux. And you can see here currently in my trading account, I have zero Flux. And that's ultimately what we want to go and buy. So what I'm going to do here is select trade so if, as soon as i select trade it comes up with a pairing so as i mentioned here on kucoin there's only two pairings for flux the one is bitcoin and hence that's what i've transferred into it and again that's what's important right so when you trade you need to have the coin that is associated to the trading pair within the trading account right so there's only two it's usdt and btc so you can see here obviously i've got btc so that's the option that i'm going to select as soon as I select that option, you can see here, there's a whole host of information sections telling you what's going on, but it opens up this trading screen. Now, once in the trading screen, there's a couple of things that I just wanted to point out. The first one is you can't really do anything unless you've got a trading password set up. Now, with KuCoin, they will actually have a lot of passwords for you to set up, so they would be um, obviously the main password to get into your account, there would be this trading password that you need to set up and that's what's being asked for here in the bottom right. There's also a 2, 2FA code that you also need to set up, right? And when you, we transfer from KuCoin back into Zelcor, that's when it's going to ask for all of these different things. It's going to ask you for an email verification, it's going to ask you for a password and a 2FA. Um, but you would need to have set up your trading account. So for me, let me just put in that. There we go. So once I specify that, it opens up the options for me now to go ahead and buy. Now, the other things that you just need to go and have a look at. So I can see here, if I move my mouse here on the top left, you would see currently the Flux BTC price at the moment is about 65 cents. So in my opinion, again, I'm not a financial advisor i don't know if this is a good price or a bad price in my opinion it, it's good enough i started buying flux at two dollars eighty so um you know it's obviously a, a big discount from my first buying opportunity now that i know what the price of flux is and the options are open here after specifying my password let's go ahead and buy some flux now i'm not again doing any technical analysis i don't draw any lines or look at any of these patterns or know what what's happening here um, I do know a little bit, but I'm not interested necessarily in, in that. I don't, I'm not a believer. I am a believer in when something is oversold or overbought. But, you know, in this case, I just like the project and I want to buy the coins. Now, for that, what I normally look at, you can see here on the right, there's two order books. So, generally, these are people in red is people that are selling. And this is the price that are selling and the amount of coins that they want to sell. And then at the bottom here, these are people that is looking to buy some flux so you can see the discrepancy between the price here so that is 0 0.0002261 is currently what the highest price that somebody is willing to pay and then on the seller side you can see here the highest price or the lowest price that somebody is willing to sell at the moment is 0 0.0002278 so that's what i normally go ahead and look at so you know these are in red again short versions people selling and at the bottom is people buying now what i would normally do is put in a patience price so put in the limit that i would like to spend per flux and then just wait patiently until that price is hit but in this case because i'm on youtube i'll um, obviously want to finish this video so what i would do normally is i would specify the price that i would like to pay so you can see here currently i've got this amount of btc so i'm just going to specify the price that i wanted to pay so if i look at the sellers here um, i can see there is big volume at 22.73 so what i'm going to do is just specify that and make it 70 and then buy the maximum amount of flux here so you can see at that specific price i would get about 182 flux so that's generally what I would specify, right? So it's in between what people are willing to buy versus what person is selling. So what I would normally do is then click buy flux and that would put my order in. So you can see now all of a sudden my order is here at the top 
um, and you can see by that little arrow so that's really where my order is now what i'm going to do is just wait a couple of seconds to see if somebody picks up that order okay so you can see here my open order has now disappeared there was a, a sound of money <laughs> dropping so what that would mean is your order has been fulfilled now if i go and quickly go and have a look at trade history you can see here that's actually where the price has now fallen so you can see here there was actually a couple of orders to fulfill my total volume so you can see it was actually two trades and here you can see the um, something that I've tested actually a couple of days ago. So that's about five days ago and the price is now actually lower, um, you know, between that. So now that my order is fulfilled, I should have flux in my trading account. So let's quickly go to my trading account. So for that, I'm just going to go on assets here at the top and go to my trading account. So this would now take me back into my trading account. And here you can see this is exactly where the 182 fluxes okay so now that the flux is in my trading account what i would ultimately need to do is if i want to send it to zelcor and that's the goal right so you know i went and bought now some flux and i need to get it in my zelcor account now what we would need to do now is unfortunately move it from my trading account to my main account i know it sounds um, you know daunting or it's a lot of steps, but it's really an easy process I just need to move it to the main account because I think you can only move something out from there So what I'm going to do here and you can see by the options, right? You can only see transfer and trade So if I go transfer so you can see here's my flux I'm going to specify transfer and then I'm going to transfer from my trading account to my main account And then it asks you what is the amount? I'm just going to select the amount. I mean, I don't want to trade flux. I want to set up a note. So I'm just going to transfer everything um, and hit confirm. And then you would see the quantity in my trading account is now zero. So now, okay. And if I go to my main account, that's now where you would see the 40, I think it was about 44 flux that I had originally in here, plus the 180 odd that I went and bought. So now that it's in my main account, this is now the next step where we're going to transfer it to Zelcor. Okay, so now let's transfer it to my Zelcor wallet. And you can see here in the main account, this is now where the options are. So you can see deposit, withdraw, transfer and lend. I don't want to lend, I just want to withdraw. So I'm going to select withdraw. And this is now where it's going to ask me, okay, what do you want to withdraw? Obviously I've selected flux, so that's not a problem. It's going to ask you for your wallet address. So this is important. This is now where I'm going to go back to my Zalcor. So you can see here, I'm just going to open up Zalcor. In my nodes wallet here, I'm going to select my native flux or my the flux that I ultimately host from. That's the flux coin that I'm going to use here. Don't use anything else around flux BSC or anything like that. So it's very important. This is the nice thing about KuCoin is it's within the native flux chain. So you can select flux here. And then select receive this is the address that i'm going to send it to right so i'm going to select this and then copy and paste that into my wallet address here so for the network you can see here there is no real option i see fees so you can see there will be a one flux fee so that's actually quite good considering you know what i pay normally when i do it on binance so that's pretty pretty decent and what you will also see it's going to ask you now you know how much flux do you want to send uh, you know in my case i'm just going to select all and then click on the withdraw button so just to confirm and if i just double check and you should always double check these things i normally check the first couple of digits and the last couple of digits of the wallet address so t1aj so if i just go back to my account so t1aj so that's correct and then uh, rgz and then go back here rgz okay happy days awesome so that is correct so i'm sending it from there to my wallet this is the quantity that i'm going to send and i'm sending the network which is flux and again you just need to make 100 percent sure those are correct and then i'm going to click withdraw so as soon as i click withdraw it's going to ask you again confirm that the details are correct i'm just having a quick look it looks correct um, I'm going to click withdraw and this is now where it's asking you for all of these passwords as I mentioned so it's asking you for your trading password email verification and your 2FA code so um, I'm just going to specify those and hit submit okay so once you have specified that 
you would get a completed section here and then at the bottom you would see you would get a transaction so there would be a transaction and it currently says processing so you can actually view the transaction what would then happen is it would open up the flux block explorer so all that i'm going to do is wait a little bit patiently and have a look at my wallet in zelcor just to make sure that it's in there after waiting for at least two minutes and again if you're not familiar with the flux blocks times there's a block every two minutes you would then get the status changing from processing to completed so that's the indication that the sending to zelcor is complete now what i'm going to do is just double check in zelcor so i'm just going to open up my zelcor wallet here again and then go to flux and then what you would see there we go there's the transaction on the 28th of may so obviously if i select this you can see the details i think it's currently blurred out for you guys but i'll see if i can put a screenshot with the actual amount so you can get the actual confirmation for this this is really how easy it is i know it sounds like a lot of steps but you know to repeat um, obviously i've opened an account i then transferred at least the trading pair that i know about and that i own so i know there's a trading pair for flux on kucoin for bitcoin so i've moved my bitcoin into my kucoin account i then transferred my bitcoin from my main account to my trading account and that enables me to trade that bitcoin um, once in there i then went and traded flux and i used the bitcoin pairing uh, once i buy flux it would sit in my trading account i then subsequently moved it out again into my main account again okay, once it's in the main account that's when i transferred it into my zelcor wallet and for that I just made sure I transferred it into the native Flux coin because that's the chain that KuCoin uses. And then once it's in my Zelcor wallet, I can do with whatever I want to do with it. In my case, I'm going to use it to stand up hopefully another Cumulus node. That's it for this one guys. Hopefully you've liked the video. If you have liked it, please like it and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! Woo! <laughs>